All right, hello world. It's hello. G fam coming at you again with a uh, a little tutorial about backing your trailer up and leveling it. Um, we're just going to give you a few tips as to what we think works best for us as far as getting our house nice and level for a decent duration of stay with at least like a five day stay. Um, we like to be able to just get ourselves nice and level so we're not wobbling around like we're on a ship. But um, I hope you guys enjoy this and I hope it's a little helpful for you to get a better idea of what it looks like to get yourself established for a couple of days of stay. The first thing that we like to do is to look at the land. Oof, sorry about the light. Look at the land that we'll be parking on. So in this campsite, I don't know if you can tell, but it, it go raises up and then down. So yeah, there's a, a large pump here. So you're gonna wanna get yourself right in the middle of that hump. And see, our hookup is right over there. So obviously you have to be near the hookup. So our goal is to get us backed up right onto the hump with our tandem axle and have all our tires on the hump. So that way, even though um, back there it just drops off some, it won't be affecting the level of our trailer. So. All right, so another tip that we have is that we used to use a leveler, but unfortunately, you don't really get to see the true level of your house using one small leveler. You kind of need a level that's the size of your house, which obviously isn't capable. So one of the things that we do is we use this line right here to make sure it looks pretty straight or we use this line right here and it looks really even on the off chance that it is not on the off chance that it is not level um right to left we use these wonderful leveling blocks and we put them underneath the tires and you just build it like Legos. I will give you an example, although we're not gonna pull up on them today because we're level, but I'll show you how to set them up. Now you can put them in front or behind your tires, whether if you need to back up or go straight. Um, luckily they usually fit right in between the tandem tires or tandem axle. So this is how they would be set up if you were to back up on them more. And then you just have the driver back up onto them and you're sitting right on top of these blocks right here. And if you were to pull forward on them, you would put them in the front of the tires and just pull forward on them. So again, we are, we are lucky to not have to use these today. Um, but there are plenty of times where we pull this out to level ourselves off and say if you're level more to the driver's side you use them on the driver's side wheels if you're on level on the passenger side you use them on the passenger side wheels or another leveling that you have to do is from front to back um let me get a view for you guys they don't know if you can tell we are definitely higher in the back than we are the front and so to get that worked out, we use the tongue. So let's go ahead and show y'all how we do that. As you can see, we're kind of leveling ourselves out. The back and the front are looking more equal. get y'all a better view all right so we're looking pretty equal I think we're a little high on the front end he has got to move the truck out of the way all right so a safety tip that I would recommend before detaching your trailer from your truck is to always chalk the wheels that way you don't have to question whether it's gonna roll away on you or not and um, that way it's just, you're covering all areas before you disconnect the heavy part of your rig and what's actually holding everything together. All right, so naturally what I do, and this is personal preference, 
but I put a chalk on each side of the wheel so nevertheless it cannot roll forward or backwards. So another thing that we do is to go inside and stand and see what it feels like in there. Okay, so once standing in there, I can feel that the front is actually still hot, um, lower than the back. So we need to lift the front up just a tad bit more, put down our stabilizers, and we'll be good to go. All right, much better. We are leveled out, and so now we are gonna put our stabilizers down so that way we don't get to rocking. All right, guys, well, that pretty much wraps it up for us. I mean, it's pretty cut and dry, but nevertheless, I hope that this was um, helpful for you guys uh, to be able to set up in whatever kind of conditions that you're at, whether it's flat, rough, um, if you're on a steep hill or whatnot. Hopefully, that it just gives you a little bit of insight as to how to achieve level so that way you guys can live comfortably wherever you're staying. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you like videos like this and we'll keep them coming. Have a great day.